Hi friends, thank you so much for being here. Today's video is the best makeup of 2023. I'm so excited to share with you what has made the final list, the final cut for the best makeup that I used and tried this year. And there are some surprises. I really didn't expect some of these products to make it to the final cut. I surprised myself. And if I sound a little different, it's because I'm currently sick, so my voice is a little deep, a little raspy, bear with me, but if you want to see all of my favorite products in action, then I've let's already go. primed and set my eyes. I didn't include that as a category because it will always be the same Milani eyeshadow primer you already know, so nothing new there. I'm going to be going in order of application, so starting off with eyeshadow favorites. I have multiple categories, starting with eyeshadow palette. This is one of the surprise favorites. I really did not expect myself to be reaching for this palette over some of the other ones that I really thought were going to make the final cut, but my favorite palette this year is actually Natasha Denona I Need a Nude. I know, I I did not expect this at all because when I was doing all of my comparisons with this palette, with this palette, the Ethereal Eyes palette, I mean, just by looking at Ethereal Eyes, like this is me in a palette. Like this is all the tones, the textures that I want. So I really thought I was going to be saying Ethereal Eyes today. I just reach for this one more, and I really would have never thought that. But these textures, this just has more variety than Ethereal Eyes, and I just have been gravitating towards this one more. So I would be lying if I said that this wasn't my favorite palette. Definitely my most used. Then other eyeshadow things. So I put for eyeshadow stick the Milani Gilded Eyeshadow Sticks. These are the best eyeshadow sticks at the drugstore, but honestly, like my favorite eyeshadow stick that I have tried. For liquid eyeliner, Huda Beauty Life Liner. This literally has the tiniest, tiniest little wand on an eyeliner that I've ever seen. This has been my go-to for those inner corner wings, and this is like the most budge proof aside from kvd tattoo liner if you know you know i do want to give an honorable mention to the tress luce eternal liquid liner this is my favorite liquid liner for like actually on the lid i don't really like the huda the huda the huda beauty one for on the lid just because it takes way way more time to get a full wing with this because it is so small but this is definitely my drugstore favorite this is available at ulta Last category for eyeshadow things is pencil eyeliner, and this is no surprise. This has been the clear number one pencil eyeliner of the year for me, and it is the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner, specifically this one in the shade Blackout. It's their black one. To start, I'm going to go into Stone using a Real Techniques 203, one of my favorite blending brushes. And I'm putting that all throughout the crease. Next, I'm taking my LA Girl eyeliner. I'm gonna look down into my mirror and using the tape as a guide, I'm going to put some onto my lid. These are so creamy, like effortless. I'm also going to start to connect that onto the lower lash line so I'm just creating a tiny little V shape just to start this is an AOA studio e116 from shop miss a and first I'm, I always like to back blend I'm actually gonna take that out a little bit more so I'm just gonna add a little bit at the edge And extend that out just a little bit past the tail of my eyebrow 
And to set that black eyeliner, I'm going into the deepest matte in the palette, this one right here, in Silhouette, using that same angled brush. And I'm just going to tap right over that. I'm going to go ahead and get the tape off. I'm going to use my Milani eyeshadow stick as a base for the shimmer we're going to go on top with. So starting on the inner part of my lid, really confining it to the lid and I'm going to bring it in about halfway. And my favorite thing about these is that you can blend it out so effortlessly and so easily with just your finger. A brush also works well. I'm going to go into this taupey satin shade called Travertine. Just straight onto my finger and dab that right over an eyeshadow stick. And with a fluffy brush, this one is a fluffy eye blender from e.l.f. I'm going into this lighter gray called Mesh and I'm going to go basically onto the brow bone but trying to diffuse that stone color just a little bit more. Next is the Huda Beauty Life Liner. I'm going to do my inner corner wing. I'm going to pop off and finish the other eye and I'll be right back. These are what the eyes are looking like so far and pause. I almost forgot to tell you guys about my favorite eyeshadow of the year. I did include a single eyeshadow category Honestly, because of this product, this is my third one, ColourPop Super Shock Eyeshadow in Ritz. Hands down, my favorite eyeshadow of the year. This is the Drugstore Dupe for Space Cowboy by Urban Decay. It has a soft brown base with all of these silver pinky taupe kind of sparkle. I do want to add some just straight in the middle, kind of like Kim Kardashian at the Met Gala a couple years ago. Oh, it's just it's so good. Another category that I included is favorite false eyelashes. And if you're curious to know my 2022 favorites, I didn't do a full video, but I did do a YouTube short that is available on my channel. I will link it right here in case you're curious to see um, how my favorites have changed. But last year was Jeju. You know, if you know, you know. But this year, these are by far my most used lashes. If I don't know what lashes to go in with, these have been my go-to, and they are the Ardell Remy 778 lashes. Lashes are on. I love these ones because they go with any look. You could wear them with a super dramatic look like this, wear them with no eyeshadow, just lashes. They look beautiful. They also elongate the eye, and I don't have to trim these. I have small eyes, and a lot of the times I do have to trim false lashes. These are just perfect, and the ends kind of like point outwards so it just makes your eye look longer than it is. Next is my mascara of the year. This e.l.f. Lash and Roll, $6. And this is fantastic for the lower lashes specifically. This has been my go-to lower lash mascara. On the top lashes, this works great. It doesn't flake, it doesn't smudge doesn't irritate my eyes. It's just so foolproof and I really like how tiny the wand is to really get into corners. If you have small eyes like me, you would really like this mascara. Before foundation, we need to prime. So my favorite primer, to no surprise, the e.l.f. Power Grip Plus 4% Niacinamide has been my number one face primer of the year. It just does it all, but my favorite thing isn't even the longevity that this provides, which is fantastic, like a good 10 hours your face will be on with this, but I really like how this one prevents cracking and dryness in this area specifically. For foundation, I don't think anyone's going to be surprised when I say 
the REM Beauty Foundation. I love it for many reasons. I love how hydrating it is, so it works well for my dry skin. It never looks dry, it never cracks. It wears pretty well, especially in conjunction with that e.l.f. primer. It has a really beautiful, natural, skin-like finish, especially with how I prep it. I always hydrate my skin a lot, especially because it's winter and my skin is even drier, if you could possibly imagine. I use two shades, but the shade that works for me most of the time year-round is medium 7N. So if we are shade match buddies or similar, and you have a medium olive skin tone, medium 7N, this color is literally the best foundation shade match I've ever tried. That shade match is just so so good next is concealer I know a lot of y'all are expecting me to say the house labs concealer but actually that's not what I chose because when I really thought about it the concealer that impressed me the most and also the one that I was reaching for the most is the physicians formula butter glow concealer this is everything I want in a concealer. This is like the Kosas concealer or the NYX serum concealer, the Tower 28 serum concealer. It's giving that vibe, but I like this more than the Kosas actually. The shade is way better. This shade in medium to tan works really well for me. It has a very smooth, thin texture, so it's more so like the Tower 28 one. It's definitely thinner than the House Labs and thinner than the Kosas Concealer, and it gives about a medium coverage. It's not as full coverage as the House Labs, but this has just been a go-to. Like, it always works. I've never had any issues with this concealer looking dry, looking textured. And it blends like a dream, like, so, so good. Next is powder. And I didn't feature this in my 2022 favorites because I hadn't discovered this powder yet. Say it with me. One size ultimate setting powder in translucent. It's the only powder I ever want to use. If you have oily skin, you would love this powder. It is thicker in texture than the Huda Beauty one, but I actually do prefer this over the Huda Beauty powder, partly because I don't like that the Huda one is fragranced. I really, really don't like that about the Huda one. But this one, even if you have dry skin, just go in with the tiniest little bit, it is so smoothing. So I just set this side with that powder, unset. And set if you want your makeup to be super matte super smooth and last all day this is the one because of the highlighter pick I'm actually gonna go in with highlighter first and this was the biggest surprise of all highlighter was the toughest category to choose for this year which I really would have not thought it would have been an issue I really thought that the Rare Beauty highlighter was going to be a clean sweep. First six months out of the year, I was really looking for a super blinding, glass-like shine to the skin that this provides. But then summer came, and ever since then, I've just preferred more of like a glowy sheen, something that looks more lived in. The Rare Beauty Liquid Luminizer in the shade Mesmerize is my highlighter pick. It gives the most beautiful, natural, glowy sheen. Like this really is a glow from within. It makes you look like you're a little bit sweaty, but not in a gross way. Like the finish is stunning. But here's the thing about this highlighter, which I have expressed before, is that I can only blend this with my fingers and I can't put it on top of my bronzer or my blush, otherwise it will disrupt those textures. Now for bronzer, 
another surprise or maybe not a surprise because my favorite that I chose I have used a lot on my channel but I really thought it was going to be the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt. My number one bronzer of this year is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Contour. I use the shade Medium Tan. And again, with the Rare Beauty one, I just was noticing, like not even thinking about it, subconsciously kept reaching for this one over all of my other bronzers. So that's how you know. I also do think this one lasts way better than the Makeup by Mario one. And I've been really liking this NYX fan brush. I believe this is on Ulta. Another surprise favorite is blending out my bronzer with a fan brush. This is like a thick fan brush, not one of those thin flimsy ones that we used to use for highlighter. Next is blush, and Drugstore has just been sweeping a lot of these categories, I'm not gonna lie. These Essence Pure Nude Baked Blushes, and my favorite thing about this is the finish. It makes your cheeks look supple and soft, specifically the shade Rosy Rosewood has been a go-to, and if you've been here a while, you know. I don't like powder blushes. I really, I never go for powder blushes. These are the only powder blushes I own. But these ones, I've been reaching for over my cream blushes. Like, I never thought I'd see the day. Now, the only downside to these blushes is I would say the shade range. Only because a lot of the colors end up looking the same same. Mmm. I just... Now to set the face with my favorite setting spray. Basically, the only setting spray I've used all year is the Kali Ray Surf Proof Setting Spray. I'm going to finish off my brows with my favorite eyebrow product. And this definitely swept all of the other eyebrow gels I tried this year. I still love my Kosas one, but this one provide something that the Kosas one doesn't, which is more of a laminated look. I'm talking about the Tres Luce Clear Eyebrow Gel. The thing about this one, you can see I've used quite a bit of this. I've been trying to scrape the last little bits. The thing about this one that could potentially be a downside for other people is that you have to wipe off basically all of the product and just use the tiniest, tiniest little bit. Otherwise, if you go in with anything more than that, it will give you some of that dandruff or like that white cast on your eyebrows. We made it to the last category, which is lips. So I divided the lips into three categories for lip liner. My favorite lip liner, and I discovered it this year, is the Rare Beauty Kind Words Lip Liner, specifically in the shade Wise. This color is just perfect. And these are a little bit waxy, not too much, but just enough where they grip your lips, but they're not dry. Honorable mention to the Kimchi Chic Beauty Yum Lip Liners. I discovered these on the Flip app, and these are only $7 each, and I've been reaching for these heavily, heavily, so this is definitely my more affordable option if you want something like at a drugstore price. These are super great and honestly last better than the Rare Beauty one. But on to my matte lip product pick. This is gonna come as a surprise, especially lately I've been talking about the NYX Lime Loud liquid lipsticks, which are my honorable mention from the drugstore. If you really want something that's going to last and has really nice colors, NYX Lime Loud. But my matte lip pick is actually the About Face Paint It Matte Lip Colors. These are the liquid lipsticks, and these are my favorite liquid lipsticks and they have been for years and I kind of fell back in love with these especially once fall hit and specifically this shade called not your baby 
throughout the day. If you need a little bit of a touch up, you can layer these on top of themselves and they don't get grainy or bunch up or look textured. They stay very thin. And then for my glossy lip pick, this was really, really tough because I'm a glossy girl through and through. I had to think about what I was really reaching for the most this year and it was definitely the NYX Fat Oils, specifically this one in Mist Call is my favorite shade that I have got and this was a non-stop summertime favorite. And honestly, I would not say these are lip oils. These are definitely more of a thicker lip gloss, kind of like the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bombs. It's like that thicker conditioning kind of texture. I do want to give an honorable mention to the e.l.f. Glow Reviver Lip Oils. Now, these are actually lip oils. They feel like a very thick, nourishing layer of oil on the lips. And they're not thick in a bad way where they're like sticky and goopy. I almost chose these, but if I really think about what I'm reaching for the most, it's going to be the NYX ones, but these, if you're actually looking for an, a true lip oil, go for these ones, and these ones have a very oh, lovely minty scent. These ones also smell good. These smell like cherry. So first, I'm going to line with the Rare Beauty Lip Liner in Wise. Now I'm going over top with the About Face Liquid Lip. I'm gonna wait for that to set down before I go in with my fat oil, but the last category that I wanna share is my favorite makeup tool slash brush. And this year, it's a brush. And this is the LBE 7 from Lunar Beauty. This tiny, teeny little brush. I use it all the time to clean up my lip line, also to get right here in that inner corner, especially if I do an inner corner wing and I want my concealer to be perfectly placed underneath to clean up your eyebrows, to clean up, you know, your wings. This has been so nifty. And to finish off our makeup look with the NYX Fat Oil in the shade Mist Call. All right, you guys, this is the full face of my 2023 makeup favorites. I would love to know your guys' 2023 makeup favorites. And if you want more makeup tutorials, get ready with me and other makeup things, then like, comment, subscribe. You already know the drill. Project Pan final update is coming soon. Keep an eye out for that. That might be my last video of the year. And I am planning to do Project Pan for next year. So stay tuned because that's gonna be a really exciting video. I've made really good progress. But I send you guys so, so much love and light. And I will see you in the next one.